Okay, welcome back everybody. Coffee and Art. Now we're on to part two, working on this giant 30 by 30 collage mixed media piece. Uh, we've already spent about two and a half hours doing the uh, gluing down of the collage, uh, painting out the background, and now I'm adding the details. And this can take the longest. And I've only got about an hour, which that's all I need to do today anyway, because I have other things, including watching a couple other people. And so, hey, Bonnie. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you, I'm going to get back down and work on her again in a second. But I want these, I'm going to have my planets here are all going to be, they'll have a kind of a glow around them. But I just want you to kind of see where they're going to go. Uh, I don't know if that's even showing up, but this is where my planets are going to go. I might have rings around one. Like maybe this one might have some rings around it. Something like that. These were going to be little arches, but I decided on seven planets. Three on this side, and then four. Well, actually there's five now because I added an extra. Well, there's an extra one. I could paint one out if I needed to. But these are the ones that are all like, you can see they're like doors. These four right here are doors, and these three right here are doors. This one's just like a random one, and then up here, and i got to stand up. I, I've been standing up for most of this, so this will be, again, that will end up blending right into this angel. That black line will be gone, okay? Same for here. This black line will be gone. The wings, that's, see, I'm trying to have the effect that it's coming out or they're blending with the book here. And then she's coming in and blending with the book and blending with the clock. Okay. And then let's see, I probably will have something with this arch here. I'm just doing this in color pencil, white pencil. I can repaint any of this out if I don't like any of where I'm going with it. I'm just kind of sketching it out. Okay. Then I think I'm going to want a waterfall. I think I'll have the waterfall maybe come from here down to here and down to here and then over here. So we'll have waterfall here. I'm just using a pencil, guys, to sketch it out. And we'll have the waterfall come here, right down here up here and then we'll have some water stuff going on down you can't see the bottom because I can't move the board up anymore well I guess I could do this I can pick it up well maybe can pick the board up can I and show you the bottom see down here because right now, it's like literally up against the bins right there. All right. So now let's get back to her. And she's, turned in, she's turning into this tree. So she's going into the watch, and she's turning into the tree. All right. Let's see here. Let's get my paint stuff back situated. All right. Where's my... Get these back here. Um, I like them. Um, yeah, I like I like a lot. I like clouds, mist, space, planets, nebulas, and stars. I put that in almost everything if I can. Watches, clocks, um, sundials, anything that measures time. I like. So, all right, let's get back to work here. Let's get her blended in. And I don't know. I'm trying to see the glare there. I'm trying to see how much y'all can see. And I don't want those lines, the the um, the stained glass lines. So, and I might have to take two coats to cover that up. 
those lines because I am working on a, a dark image there. But I want to get rid of all the um, stained glass window looking thingies here. So I'll probably put a couple coats here. I'm just trying to blend her in. And then she'll probably blend in over here. Because some of the paint's a little translucent. So I'm getting rid of those lines. And then she'll blend in over here on these rocks. A little more orange. brown and then she's going to blend right in down into a tree let's add a little bit of smudgy white here to brighten that up Thanks, Terry, if you're talking to me. Thank you. And then the tree branches. I need a little bit of olive color. I can, let's see. Maybe I can pull the camera out just a tad. Here, I'm going to move the camera out just a tiny bit, guys. So, just so I can try to get to the edge. The edge of the page here. So, now I'm going to take that green. I want to blend in the tree. So, she's going to become part of the tree. She's part of the watch and time. She's part of the book. And this tree, the branches are going to kind of flow over here. And flow into this little bit of, well, you can't see it down here very well flow into this bit down here, which will have a waterfall over this coming down over the tree. So right here, see how much you can see. Sorry guys, I'm, just, I'm at the edge. I don't think I can do much more. But anyway, the waterfall is going to come there, 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 and then down here under the tree. So I'm just kind of blending some of this so that'll be a background back here. There'll be a bit of a background where the waterfall is going to flow over it. And then that'll have a little... Like that there. Shh, shh, shh. Let me see. All right. And the tree can come down. Again, you can't see it down here, but I'm bringing this tree all the way pretty much to the bottom of the page. Just kind of a scruffy bit, almost like it's just a, it's just like a mossy bit coming down. And I'll make sure and take lots of pictures. Okay, so there's that. Water's going to be down there. Let's come back up here with, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want that color. Not the green. 
some of this mossy bit. Let me fix a little bit of some black here because I want this covered up behind her. I'm on the edge, that's right. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the creamy skin. Blend of skin color here. To this watch. I put some mist and stuff too. Scooby. I like seeing my vision come to pass too when it works, you know. Just a little bit more blend right there. So I really want her to look mossy down here at the bottom. Like she's really getting mossed, moss right there. Hang on. Yes, it's my phone. I'm answering it. <laughs> hey, honey. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, still streaming. What's up? I yeah, I haven't. I haven't. Yes, but no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll call you back. Bye. Okay. So now I want to do a little bit the moss green on this neck piece. So I'm going to just kind of work this in just a little bit more detail you like. So it's like mossy there and I think I might just put a little bit of green mossy bit just so it's a little bit of moss look on the book itself. Kind of ties it all together. So this, 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 it all flows, right? Okay. Now, I need to fix this side here. Let's see. I want her little... Not to have so many lines here. There we go, that's better. Let's just go ahead and put And I hope y'all can see some because, again, I know I'm far off, far away. There we go. That's better. Too much. 
just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Good for you. Yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. So now I got a few places here where I got some uh, scrubbed it too hard with the baby wipe and kind of scrub through some of the paper. So I'm going to kind of let's just add a little bit of fixes here and there. That needs a little bit of orange in it. Just kind of matching up some of the paint, kind of. All right. But this is a step that is like doing a, you know, painting a painting. So it takes time. Okay, another layer to cut, get rid of some of those brown, those black lines that are across her from the um, stained glass window. No, y'all probably can't see too much of it, but we'll take pictures and stuff. All right, let's get here some black here. Let's fix some of this where I kind of went over. And there's going to be there's going to be a watch hands coming out too. But I don't know how far we'll get today. Let's leave on her for a minute. I need a little bit of blend right here. This needs to blend. Don't like that harsh. Of course, I want some water in here and stuff too, so that'll probably be some of it, but I don't want a harsh line right there. It needs to be. Okay, sip of coffee, check the chat. Bye, Marilyn, sleep well. Okay. All right, so. Let's follow these tree branches out here on the side. So some of this is coming through here. This will come across the green under the waterfall here. Behind there. Okay. 
maybe a little bit more green up here where the water can kind of have something else to splash on. More little leaves and stuff behind there. Hanging over. Okay. Some more mossy bits in here. Here. Still with the tour. Thanks, Demonte or Diana, rather. I'll try to work in some little areas so you can see some detail as we go. Because I'm obviously not going to finish this whole thing today. All right. Now let me decide though where I do want my watch hands. They're going to come off of this one or they can come right out of the middle of here. Probably best out of the middle here. But it almost looks like they need to come out of here. Nah, we'll have them out of here. Alright, so let's see what direction I want them. I'm just going to kind of tack them in there. Just do it with pencil. So if the, this one comes up to this planet here, so we'll have the middle right here. We'll paint more detail for the center right there. But they'll come out from here to there. Because I want, I'm thinking I want some branches, some vines coming over the um, watch hands. So if this one comes up like this, let me just kind of pencil it in. Oop, I didn't want to go across that planet. Right there. Where's my electric eraser? Wait. <laughs> oh, I've been having so much fun with that thing. Just saying. All right. Then it's going to come all the way past behind here and out the back there. Okay. Let me erase a little. I know. Wait. Let me kind of move it down. I've got to be careful I don't pull my paint down on the floor. I could just paint this out too, but I'm having fun with the eraser. Okay. So that one's going to go that way. Okay, can you see where it's heading? <laughs> um, see. Okay, I don't think you're talking to me, Dot. But <laughs> okay, so then what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to go ahead and paint in these watch hands just so that you can see them. Because what I would like to do is then have vines. Have some vines growing not all the way to through space but like starting into there well maybe all the way to space okay then this one and i just kind of ignore the hands in here i can paint those out any way i want this one i want to head up toward this across the book so this one's going to go right through the book and through that planet so this needs to go this direction so it's going to kind of go a little bit into her, and it's going to go behind her. Now I'll go right over the top of her. Then it'll stop. Now I'll just keep going. And then let's see. I'll go behind this planet, though. And then off. All right, now I think I'll get my Posca, just so y'all can see it. All right, give me a minute. Give me a minute here, people. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start, and, and I'm, they're not going to be stark white. They'll have some color to them and shading and stuff. But I'm going to want this to be bigger here. So I'm going to have a bigger area here where the watch bit comes out of. 
and I'm going to make it thicker. And I hope I picked up the right Posca. And you know, you can do this with paint. This is just acrylic paint in a in a pen. We'll see how I can. I want it thicker, but I don't want to get it too. I like I like it subtle. So I'm just gonna keep following it up here. Okay. Oh, still with the tour. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I gotta slide this over. It needs moving everything. So I can slide it over. Oh, the head's not sticking in there. Okay, my heat gun. I want to do a few details because if I do the, the rest of it off camera, do you do posters? No, I don't do them that often, uh, Andrea, because it's, you see how much time it takes. And it's a little unwieldy to try to film it. If I was actually doing this, I would be doing it on the floor. I'd be sitting on the floor painting and gluing. So I don't make them very often. You've seen my big animal posters, you know, those really... Um, are a little bit of collage. I'll show them to you in a minute. Let me go ahead and get this my head in the way. Um, with my own hand-drawn animals. And there's really not much collage. Well, I mean, there's collage in it, but I get it, it all gets painted out pretty much because it's my hand-drawn uh, animals. I'll show them to you all again in a minute. What time we got? We're good. All right, now, let me go ahead. I'm going to turn this sideways, guys, just so I have that right angle to draw a straight line. I can't draw a straight line like my hand going this way. So, yeah. Needs to go this way. I'll put some mist, some water, some more planets, some nebula. I'll try to do some detail here. But there's going to be lots of little details. Like like there might be some flowers on the hill. There might, you know, there's going to be a lot of other little stuff that takes time that I like to enjoy. <laughs> I like to sit and enjoy that process and not... And, and plus it's hard for you all to see those tiny, tiny things. You know... I will zoom in here though so you can kind of see some of the detail before we're done. Okay, this needs to be a little thicker. And it's probably even going to get thicker still. I, I, it, it does need to be a little bit wider down here at the bottom for me both of them. And then I'll shade them and stuff. But what I want to do, let's see if I can turn it back around again, is I'd like to, as I do her and the tree down here, I'd like to do some vining. Some green vines. Like, I'll just paint one in here. Wait, well, let me dry this. Make sure I'm not going to smear the white. Let me see, let me get a brighter green. Let me add a little bit of chartreuse or lime green to this olive here, just so you can see. Get a liner brush. Okay. 
and so what I like to do is something like coming off of her here you probably won't even be able to see this it's gonna be so subtle I'll hold it up in a minute because you know I have to put a couple coats and a couple you know more details and stuff I want the vine to kind of come up so it'll be thicker down here okay same thing for this side be painted out more more in detail but I've just got it kind of mapped out just so I can kind of show you all right so let's see if I can hold this up move the heat gun I keep catching the heat gun cord over here okay so see the vine see I'm gonna have the vine coming up I hope you can kind of see it I'm tilting this board every which away and then there's the bottom of the tree Okay, hopefully we're still in focus, we've got a little, little, got a little flashed out there when I held it up. There we go. You're not bad. <laughs> hey, Lady Jan. Okay, so now let me do a little bit of some star stuff, uh, a little bit of like waterfall. Let me dry these vines though. some white paint here and see if I can at least give some get a fresh baby white and let me start let me start uh, circulating the world here <laughs> so what we're gonna do let's see got too many wet paper towels here what we're gonna do I'm gonna get a wet paper towel roll up the old sleeves a little bit all right now I'm gonna get some uh, white paint on my dirty hands and what I want to do now is I'm going to look over the whole thing. Let me move this heat gun out of the way. And I want to see how I want the world to circulate. Remember, I want, I want this. It's going to come around this way. So I'm going to just kind of put some in and fluff it out. This is just the this is just my direction here. None of that's going to stay exactly like that. I just want to find the direction I want to go. Okay. And then of course I'm going to have the water coming down here. And the water is going to come this way and down the tree and up here. So I'm going to have water. You can't see that cuz it's at the bottom. So that will go around that way. Okay, let's go over here. Alright, now I'm going to want it to kind of flow from here. There we go. So we're going to come around this way, down here, down here, and around this way. We have a lot of mist and water down here at the bottom, which you're not going to be able to see for a minute, but I'll just kind of throw it in there just so I tilt it up. It's going to go like that. This will have some water coming down this way, flowing, flowing. Just want y'all to get the idea where we're heading. <coughs> this is 
this will be painted nice and tight into the book so the water will look like it's actually coming out of the book Like that. A little cliff edge there. be much more I'm going to be much more particular about that right there um, Just want y'all to see some of the detail that I'm going to end up doing off camera. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. All right, let's do a little bit more detail here. So this is going to come wisping out. A lot of dry brush now. A lot of dry brush. Plus I'm going to go in here with pencil. But I'm going to get some of the direction going here. I'm going to go in here with some pencils. This is going to have rings around it. Let me get a little bit more detail with some pencils. Thanks, guys. It's a you know it's a it's a work in progress. It's a it's a whip. It's a work in progress. <laughs> All right, now let me hit this with a heat gun so I can get in here with some pencil. 
There's a lot more I'm going to do, guys. I mean, really, a lot more. Especially around all the planets. Okay. This is just like the base. It's like my wind base. I work on it while I'm watching Janet and chill and let my back stretch. Um, oh, thanks, guys. Turn it out good? Okay. Well, we're going to work on a few more minutes. All right, so let's see. Let me get some pencils. I know I want some, like, yellow and some orange and my blue. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to go with uh, green. So let's go with a couple of shades of green, a lime green, a medium green. Let's go, because we got that, you know, green kind of, the vines are going to be green, uh, and maybe a little yellow, and some red, some magenta color. No, it really needs to be dark red, it needs to be red red. Okay, so, no red, let's see, it's over here. Let me sharpen these babies up. Where's my sharpeners? Oh, gee. Ugh. Hang on. I'm gonna move some stuff off the desk here. I can't find my pencil sharpener. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's put this on the floor. Thanks, guys. It's, you know, again, you're just seeing it probably about, I don't know, three quarters of the way done, maybe? Because I got all the little details now that, you know, it's going to take a while. All right, so... Let's start maybe with the green. And you might not even get to see hardly any of this. And I need black because I gotta I kind of just sketched in my the white and black. So that way with the black pencil, with the black pencil, some of my sketchy lines that I got too heavy or, you know, I don't want to show, see, I can just kind of get rid of them. Well, <laughs> you probably can't even see that, guys, but yeah. Because I want my planets to have specific colors red yellow green and like maybe a white kind of glow to them in certain areas. Or I just might go back over that with some lime green so it's not stark white. Might be green on that one. And this one kind of shapes into yellow. Broken leg. I might even have to get some paint in here if my pencil isn't going to work, especially yellow. 
so translucent it might not even really show up. Just be an aura, an aura. So all this is going to take quite a while to do. I'm just kind of going back and forth between paint, pencil, and some red paint. Just for fun, Jean, yeah. I don't have too many people commissioning something like this. Just saying. My commissions are usually portraits, Jean. Although I did have a lot of people offer to buy the... Uh, trowellettes. Trowelly, but I think I'm just going to make it into a poster and then people can buy the poster if they like it or cell phone cover or something like that. Okay. So I need the white. I need this to kind of come right into that planet a little bit. There we go. But good morning, Jean. <laughs> This is a 31, well it'll end up being 30 by 30 after I trim it down. A 30 by 30 poster, like some of the other ones I've made. I showed a couple. Thanks Terry. All right, so now let's see, because I'm doing some green, I'm doing kind of a green uh, mist, because, and it looks kind of white here, but it's really got a lime green tint to it, because it's all going to come into the vines, which I'll have to paint in, pretty much paint, and then, you know, add detail to. Because I wanted to have those vines as like part of it. And I'll just kind of go back and forth between the pencils and the paint. And get in there and make some more mist and fog and like around these planets here. Let me dip, duck down. This one come into that one too.
trowel poster. <laughs> oh, a trolley poster. Well, I am getting. I do want to do a watercolor. I do plan on doing a watercolor of the uh, trowies, trowelettes. I have it sketched out. We did that the other day. All right, so I'm just going to kind of go with that. Now I'm going to kind of fuzz that out. Um, let me go ahead and dry this. All right. Be good. If you get a chance, read the sign. There's a night train to ride on. Um, sounds familiar. Is it an old one? Is it an oldie but goodie? <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put another. I'm going to put the screen a green shadow on the watch hand because remember it's going to have vines growing up it. which you can't really see there because I'm going to have to paint that in. So put a medium green. I'll go back in there with a the dark green too. Alright, let's see. Let's do a little bit of This is the stuff that'll take me a while. This little detail, like this kind of stuff, the mist and the fog and the... So I'll go back and forth between... That's too dark green. I'll go back and forth between the light, the green and the pencil. And all this takes time. I want each one of these little planets detail to be different and very blended and very, very uh, attention to each one, which, you know, I'm going to have to just take the time and paint each detail. And it'll take time. I want to make sure nice and round them with my black around the edges so they're nice and sharp. I gotta sit down a second, my back's hurting. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here and fiddle. I'm gonna fiddle for a few minutes. A few little star details. Just use a Posca. I could splatter too, but hope y'all can see some of this, guys. I really do. You know. Uh oh, got some red paint on my hand here, and got it on her. Dang! <laughs> uh, 
I don't know where I ran my red hand, my paint, uh, hand through red paint. There we go. Okay. Alright, where'd the cap go? Ugh. No telling. And see, let me show you where the vines are going to go. So you can kind of see them. Does that help you to see them? I'm not sure it does, but... And they'll be painted, of course, green. I just thought you might like to be able to see where they go. Weave their way up that way. All right, so let's get my black here. So I'll just fiddle around with each planet one by one. Put some stars here and there, and I'll probably have some shine here and there. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you around the angel's head. Okay. have a few other this is going to be red in here it's going to be a red planet in there be some more in there too I think all right let's go ahead and It's wet. I can't put that one on there. It's still wet. Okay. Just use the back of a brush here. One there. One there. Probably have about five of them, maybe. Probably one up here. It'll be a nice big planet right here. We'll have a nice big star shine here. There, there, there. Maybe something on the back of this. Have one behind, coming out from behind there. And probably right down here inside the watch, we'll probably have some something going on there. Okay, all right, so. Yeah, I will be getting inside each one of these little book pages here. And I'll probably put a shadow under some of these water bits to make them really look really cool. So let's kind of give you an idea where we're going. This is going to be a splash right in here. Oh, 
we still with the tour guys okay oh the glow around the angel okay let's see let me do that heat gun now the way <laughs> do with paint too. Maybe I'll do a little of both. planet there. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, guys. It's time consuming, though, as you can see. Real time. Just like you wouldn't have thought that the trolleys would take five hours, would you? The trowelettes. Trowlets is their name. Their the their breed is is trowlies. Nice white edge on there. took five months. Oh, I don't, yeah, I used to do some oil painting like that took months like that. Not anymore. No more. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Got too many ideas. And that's too much on one painting. I mean, if somebody wanted to pay me five months worth of work, no, I wouldn't even do it then. Wouldn't even do it for that. red somewhere. It must be on this baby wipe. Let me get a new baby wipe. Oh, it's on my hand too. Okay. I'll get some other paint colors. <coughs> in there. Just kind of want to blend that out. Same for this arch down here. That's going to be yellow. This one I think I might make turquoise. I might throw in some turquoise. Maybe some turquoise around there and some here. Let me just do that real quick. Just thinking I might like some turquoise in here. So let's throw in a little turquoise.
and I'll blend that in. And then maybe down in here I'll have some. Turquoise and the red look good with the lot with the green. And then that will have to have some light kind of come bouncing off of it. Same for this one. This one I kind of want lime green. And then of course this one up here is going to have more red. And then I'll have maybe some yellow around this one. Maybe around both those. Or maybe this one in that one. Have some yellow around those. These over here, maybe some yellow around this one, red around this one. So different planets with different like little openings in them. Maybe that one needs a turquoise. Let's get a turquoise. Turquoise are in that one. Turquoise. Okay. Just giving me myself some color direction here. Alright. There's a start, guys. I'm going to go ahead and probably call this one done. So, Janet's going to be coming on in a few minutes. I want to make it to her show. So, I have time to grab something to eat and come... You know, I'll take a picture. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw, I'm going to just throw some stuff on here and take a picture of our process. This is where we are so that you know that it's obviously not done, right? Something like this. <laughs> and I'll take a picture. Let's throw a couple paint brushes in there. Just for some added flair. And let's see. Here's a yellow. Just have a few little, you know, supplies on there. Because I don't want anyone to think it's done. I ain't done. I'll say. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'll take a picture of the work in progress. But, you know, it's very much a work in progress. So, just saying, I'll probably leave the tape around it, just so you can tell that it's in progress. Okay, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> I'll tweet the picture, seriously, I'll tweet it in a minute, so you can at least, right now, go take a peek at it. Record the rest of it. Well, I don't know, we'll see, guys. How I really, I'll tell you how I really need to work on the rest of it, is I either need to lean in with my head over it, or I need to just prop this whole thing up in my lap and work on it like an easel. So that's very tricky to record. Those little details like that, it's going to be tricky on this big piece. If it's smaller, you know, I can, I can uh, zoom in. But when I have to get my head like right down in there, because it's so big. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you over at, uh, we'll see you over at Janet's. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.